Now, because uh, cross-site request forgery protection is so important to implement in anything that you build, uh, we wanna make this as quick and easy and as beautiful as possible. And that's exactly what we're gonna be doing today with the Slim framework. Now, if you've worked with the cross-site request forgery package with Slim before, uh, you'll know that it works something like this. We attach it to our container, uh, and then we go ahead and either add it globally, or we can add it to any of the routes that we want to protect. So we may wish to not protect some routes, which is fine, like webhooks and all that. And then what we have to do, quite strangely, is extract all of these items directly out of the container using that cross-site request forgery container item, and then go ahead, pass it down to our view, and then output them. Now, this is absolutely fine if you are just very quickly creating maybe one or two routes, but going forward, this actually gets really, really annoying. Now, what we're gonna be doing is creating a really simple form. This is just an upgrade button. So just imagine that it's to upgrade a subscription. When I click on this, I expect to have cross-site request forgery protection. So I'm not vulnerable to this being submitted, not on my behalf or rather on my behalf by someone else. Now, the way that we're gonna be doing this, if we just take a look at the source of this page is exactly how we're supposed to. So we still have the cross-site request forgery name and value fields in here. But the difference is if we just head over to our text area and look at this view, you can see here that we're just using a helper function and this is as simple as it gets. So this is all you need to include once you've set up what we're about to learn and you are done, that's all you need to do. So if I get rid of this just to demonstrate, you can see that we get a failed cross-site request forgery check. So with that out the way and done with and looked at, let's go and start to set up a simple Slim app if you are new to Slim, and then we'll go ahead and get this working.